Hello, I'm Nick, and in this tutorial we're going to go over how to create an FCM from the bottom-up approach using the software for fuzzy cognitive maps. So for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the visualization jar file. I'll double click that. And then we'll open up and we'll have the screen with five or four buttons. So the first button at the bottom is select files, so we're going to import the text files. Then we can select the entities, add concepts, or select FPM, FCM. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import the text files so we can use it to create, start creating the FCM. So we click it and it'll come up in behind the, the window and we select one file in the folder and it will import the whole folder when we select this one file. So all we have to do is select one file within the folder and we give it around two minutes for it to, to load and it should be ready to go. Once it's loaded, it doesn't have to do any processing anymore, so there should be no loading and everything should be instant. So once the files are done loading, you'll see at the bottom right, there'll be the little grid of boxes and now we can expand the view and see the whole uh, text file or entity so that were loaded. So as you can see, there's the text file's name, and then below it, there's a little abbreviation of what each text file was abbreviated from. All right, so now we're gonna go and select the entities that we believe are connected, that will be connected to the FCM. So this is gonna be creating the middle layer of the FCM, which will eventually connect to the broad concepts within the FCM. So as you can click on a text file, you'll see the weights or the frequencies of each word within the text file and it's up to you as the analyst to understand which ones are important and relevant to the topic that you're trying to direct the FCM towards. So in this case we're going to do obesity and circumference and waste. Both will have very high causation for FCM allowing us to have a strongly connected FCM. So we're going to load a bunch of entities that would deal with obesity and intervention. So now we're going to go through and iterate over every text file and select the entities that we believe are, will be connected to our FCM concept. So we found a few, like curriculum sweetener and artificial flavorings, and we have that as our middle layer. And we're going to, and as you can see, when you click on each entity, it'll show the links between or into the text file of how frequency and a few other factors. And there is a color for each entity and how much it's been weighted. Um, and that weight is based out from zero to one. So the more it's weighted to, towards one, the higher the color is towards red and vice versa to green as it approaches zero. So now that we have our middle layer of entities, we can go and check which ones are connected strongly to our text files so we can add it to the FCM. So just by clicking on each different entity, you can see each connection to the text files and how frequent or um, how prevalent they are within the text files. So now that we have the middle layer of our FCM established, we can begin adding a concept to it and connecting it to the, the middle layer and then thus the lower text files. So we're going to select a name that describes our concept and its connection to the middle layer. And in this case, we're going to choose intervention. Now we add the concept and we hit yes, because it's just a standard concept for the FCM. And as you can see, uh, the concept has no causation to the middle layer of our FCM model because it just has no links. So now we're going to add a link from one of the entities to our concept. So we're going to do clinical and then give it a rating of low, which you can do um, multiple weights or you can do like five for low and one for high, or you can just keep it at one. And for the simplicity of this example, we're just going to choose one. So now we're going to add another factor from intervention 
onto our treatment to intervention. So we select the entity, and then we give it a rating of one on high, and we hit OK. And now, as you can see, the color of intervention has changed to almost one, but it's still it's pretty, pretty close to one. And now we're going to add another concept, and we'll do that obesity, and we'll connect it to an entity in the middle, and we'll choose sweetener, and link it to obesity and weight, and this will be a causal increase because sweeteners have a high impact on obesity. As you can see, it changed the dynamics of our FCM and the weight of it. So now the colors are, it's a lot more evenly spaced to darker side of the spectrum because we've been just adding causal increases and it's been increasing the causality of our FCM. All right, we're going to add one more link to obesity and it will have a medium causation. So we have this first, this first iteration of FCM of two concepts. It's important to remember that this is an iterative, iterative process, so you have to constantly keep going back and forth and adding and removing entities and connections between the FCM. So now that we have the middle layer of entities, we have to create a concept to connect these with the, fine, the bottom layer. So the middle layer acts as like a middle a layer of extraction to the final result of the FCM. So we're going to add a concept, and this in this case we're going to do an intervention on obesity. So we're going to add factors that would increase the chances of an intervention. So we type intervention, and then we're going to select the yes box because it's a standard stabilizing concept of the FCM. So now we have the intervention, and it starts at uh, zero correlation because it's not connected to the middle layer. So now we got to add the links between the middle layer and the final concept at the top. So first we're going to choose clinical and it probably has a low corresponding or causal increase on the, the concept. So we're going to choose one for low and you're going to want to ask experts or know a decent amount about the types of concepts and entities and how they relate within your model. So you can weight them accordingly. So now we have the link that's connected and now we're gonna add another link to treatments. If I can find it, oh, there it is. All right, so now we're gonna do high correlation or a high causal increase because treatment has a high return on an, a chance for intervention and so now this concept is linked accordingly to this. And as you can see, the colors have increased because the weight of the importance has increased as it's connected to more and more entities within the file. So now we're going to add another concept and increase the size of our FCM and relate it to intervention. So we're going to link uh, obesity to one other entity and We'll give it a high value, or no, a medium value. And now you can see the causation of intervention has increased in our FCM. So now the correlation is a lot higher in the middle layer, and it has a rating or a correlation of 0.88. So now we're going to add the concept, or the next concept, of obesity. Now we'll hit yes, because it's this founding one. And then now we have to link the two concepts. So as you can see, it has no weight because it's not linked to anything. So we're going to find obesity and link it to intervention. We're going to give it causal increase of a medium connection to intervention. So now we have these two FCM concepts linked together. But currently, Obesity has no links to the middle layer, so it's still got a weight of zero. So now we're going to want to connect obesity to the middle layer. And sweetener would have a high, or a high chance of increasing obesity, so we're going to find sweetener, and we're going to give it a high causation to obesity and weight. 
hit OK. And so now you see the value of the weight of obesity has increased to 0.92 because it's more correlated with the text files. And now we're going to link. What other one should we link? Probably we'll do waste. So we'll find waste here and connect it to the concept of obesity. And this will be a causal increase and hit OK, and it will increase once again the connection of obesity and the two concepts to the text files. So now we're going to do the top-down top approach and load our FCM into the program so that we can import an FCM and reformat the way the concepts and entities interact with the FCM. So first we're going to choose an FCM file. We're going to load this. Hit OK. So now we're going to load our FCM and open it. And you can see that there's no causation between the concepts and our FCM. And then we're going to want to connect the next step, which is the text files. So we're going to open this whole folder, give it a bit to load. It'll probably take another two minutes like it did in the previous example. All right, so now that we have it loaded, um, we have our files. And now we have to load the entities or the middle layer because this has already been created for us. So now we're going to load the entities, text file, and then now we have it, and we have our middle layer, but it doesn't have, actually it is connected to our FCM, and as you can see, it's pretty balanced. There's only a few colors that are weighted very highly. So we're gonna wanna connect more links to our FCM. And so it's, even though that these are very low uh, correlated, the light green ones, they may still be important with addressing the intervention of obesity and weight. So it's up to you to understand what it, what's important. And um, it could be just the text files that you have in this FCM aren't very strong in the, in the evidence that you have. So you got to weigh that in on the final result. So we're going to add another uh, entity of waste, and we're going to link that. Actually, we're going to add circumference too. So now we have waste and circumference, and we're going to link it to obesity, because currently obesity doesn't have any links. So we find waste as the entity, and we find obesity. There it is. And then we give it a medium causation. And now the entities or concepts in our FCM have increased in causation, as you can see. And there's a stronger weight for those concepts. As you can see, waste has a very strong causation for obesity. And now we're going to find circumference. Where's, where's circumference? I select obesity. All right, now we're hitting circumference, and then we'll go down and find obesity. So now we have this these connections, and as you can see, it's kind of the mat, our FCM is kind of unbalanced. Um, the relations are very strong, and there's no causal decreases. So as you can see, our FCM isn't very balanced with the causation. So we're gonna have to add some causal decreases to a couple of the concepts within our FCM right now it's really unbalanced and by doing so we'll have a more balanced color coding of colors because this this whole step of creating an FCM is an iterative process and you're going to want to go back and forth and get it balanced and have things connected to what is important and what's not and that's up to you to decide what's important so we're going to add treatment so now we have the treatment entity we're going to add it to obesity. Oh, first we have to find treatment, not obesity. All right, so now we have obesity, and we choose a high correlation. 
and we're going to do a causal decrease. So this will decrease the weight of the FCM concept and it's slightly decrease it. And now we have a connection between the two. So we're going to keep doing this until we have a FCM that's pretty connected with our middle layer and the weights are balanced. So now we're going to add a factor uh, of money on obesity. So we're trying to balance this and we're going to add it as a causal decrease. So we're going to find money. And when we're adding these concepts, we don't really know what's going to decrease by a lot or how the correlations will work out. It's just kind of a process that you have to do in order to balance your FCM. So we added money, but it didn't really do much because it's it, oh, money doesn't have much relations to the text files that we have in this FCM. So this remember this whole step, this whole stage of creating an FCM is very iterative. So you're gonna just want to balance your FCM, and it's really trial and error until you found a system that works for you, what you're trying to do. Thanks for watching, and this is by the .b Lab. Thanks.